In this lecture, you'll learn about ONTAP licensing. I'll explain how the licensing works, the different license types that are available, and show you how to configure it in both the System Manager GUI and the command line. You can see on the slide here, the different licenses that come bundled with the system and the other licenses that you have to get separately. So with the current version of ONTAP and the current models of controllers, you can see all of these features and software up at the top are included with the ONTAP software. So you do not have to license these separately. I won't bore you by reading them all out. You can see this yourself. Then in the middle section here, there's a couple of bundles which are a license that you have to purchase separately. If you're on an AFF system, this is known as a flash bundle. If you're on a fast system, it's known as the premium bundle. So you buy this as a bundle and then that gives you a license for Snap Restore, Snap Mirror, Flex Clone, Snap Center and Snap Manager. And finally, there's other features that you have to license separately. They're listed down here at the bottom. Again, I'm not going to bore you by reading out the entire list of everything. You can see this for yourself. And where you find it on the NetApp website, let me show you that. So I'll just go to the NetApp website. To find the current information, go to Products, and then choose either the AFF or the FAS here. I'll go to the AFF page. And then when this opens, I'm going to click on software and then just scroll down a little bit further. And there you go. That's the software features. That's exactly what I was just showing you on the slide. OK, going back to the slides again, let's go to the next page. So there's three types of licenses available. There's the standard license, which is also known as the node locked license. And when we're talking about licensing in general, we're going to be using the standard licenses. These are by far the most commonly used. Another couple of types available are the site license and the evaluation license. So let's talk about the differences between them. So first one, the standard license, as I said, also known as a node locked license. And it's known as a node locked license because you need a license on every node in your cluster. And that license is tied to the serial number of the node. So when you get this feature, when you purchase the license, you have to tell NetApp what the serial number is and they'll generate a license for you, which is tied to that particular serial number. It just prevents people from using the licenses on other systems that they weren't intended for. If a node leaves the cluster, it takes a license with it because it is tied to its particular serial number. The license, the feature, sorry, will be available as long as at least one node in the cluster has the license. So for example, let's say that you are going to license SnapMirror and you've got eight nodes in your cluster. Well, as soon as you add a license for any node in that cluster, then the feature will be available throughout the entire cluster. So that will work, but to remain legal, to remain in compliance, you need to license it for every single node in the cluster, not just for one. So it will work as soon as you license one, but you need to license all the nodes in the cluster. Next type is the site license. This is tied to the cluster rather than a node serial number. The functionality is available to all nodes in the cluster, so you're licensing at the cluster level. And if a node leaves the cluster, it does not take the site license with it because this is a cluster level license, not commonly used. And the last type of license is the evaluation license, which has got a pretty self-explanatory name. This is if you're evaluating a particular feature before you actually purchase it. So there are demo licenses and these expire after a certain period of time. Just like the site licenses, these are also tied to the cluster serial number rather than to a specific node. The functionality is available to all nodes in the cluster. And if a node leaves the cluster, it doesn't take the license with it. Okay, so those are the three types. Normally, you'll be using the standard node locked license. Okay, so let's have a look at how to configure licensing in the lab. I'll show you on the command line first. So let's just come out of here and I've got a shortcut to putty. 
on my start menu. So I'll open up Putty and I'm going to go to the cluster management address on cluster one. I'll log in as admin and my password when I get prompted is flatbox one. Okay, let me just maximize this window for you. And the main directory for licensing is conveniently called license. So I will type in license. That takes me to the system license directory. I'll hit the question mark to see the available commands and we'll walk through these. So the first one is add to add a license. So let's do that. And I've got notepad open here. I'm working on the simulator. This has got the list of the licenses for the simulator. I'm working in VMware Workstation, not ESXi. So this is important when you are working with the simulator, do not use these licenses here for the ESX build because the ESX build uses a different serial number and they're not going to work when you're running the simulator in VMware Workstation. So I'm going to scroll down a bit further to the non ESX build and I'll just pick a license here. Let's go for NFS. So I will highlight that and copy it and then go back to putty and add and right click to paste that license in, hit enter. And it tells me that the license for package NFS was installed successfully. Okay, let's have a look at some of these other commands now to check it. So I can use show to view my licenses. And in there, I can see I've got my cluster base license, which is added by default now anyway. And also there is my NFS license for this particular serial number. So right now, if I try to configure NFS on my cluster, it would work because I've got it licensed on at least one node in the cluster. But I'm not legal right now. I'm not compliant. I need to also license it on my other node as well. And we can check that. If I go in Titlement Risk and then see what commands are available here, it's just show. So this is an Entitlement Risk show. And I can see that for NFS, the Entitlement Risk is medium because I need to acquire a node locked license and it shows me that node 102 is currently not licensed. So it's only licensed on node one. It also lists all my other features here as well. And I can, if I scroll down, I would see that they are not licensed. Oh yeah, let's go back up to the main license folder again, hit the question mark to see our other commands that were available. And that, so we can do it an entitlement risk show. I can also do a show status as well which will give me quite similar information. This shows me the, the different licenses that are available and whether they're licensed or not. And I can see right now the NFS is partially installed because the license is missing on cluster 102. So let's fix that. I will go back to the notepad file again with the licenses in it and get the license for my second node for NFS copy that, go back to putty and say add and paste in that license. I can see that it was installed successfully. And if I now hit my up arrow to get show status again, I'll see that NFS is no longer partially installed. It is now valid. And if I do the entitlement risk show, I'll also see there now that the entitlement risk is just low now and that I don't have any nodes without a node locked license. Okay, so that is all good. Let's have a look and see what other commands were available in the license directory. So capacity is a deprecated command. We don't use that anymore. Cleanup, what this is for is, say if you did have any evaluation licenses that were installed that are now past their expiry date, if you do a cleanup, that will remove them from the system. Delete is self-explanatory. That will delete a license. You saw entitlement risk already. You saw show as well. I think let's do a show anyway to see what's in here. So this again lists all of your, your licenses that have been added. Show aggregates and 
update unleashes. What this is for is if you're using ONTAP Select, it uses capacity-based licensing, meaning depending on how much space you want in the cluster, you have to pay more for that. So it's not valid for our FAS and AFF systems, but for ONTAP Select, this would show you how much capacity is being used and whether you're compliant with your license or not. And status is deprecated. That's basically just the old way of doing the show status command. Okay, so that was it. That was all the different commands in the license directory. You've seen how to view what is currently licensed, how to add licenses, and also how to see information about whether you're compliant or not. Okay, so that was at the command line. Finally, let's do this in System Manager as well. So I will go back to my browser and I've got the login page for System Manager open here. I will enter my username and password and then sign in. And then in here, I need to go to configuration in the menu on the left and then expand cluster and then I can click on licenses. So you'll see here that NFS is already licensed because I just did that at the command line. I can see all of my other available licenses here and I can see the status of all those. I can see that none of the other ones are licensed. So let's add a license in the GUI as well. So I will click on add. And then I'll open up my notepad file with my licenses again. And in here, let's add iSCSI. So I will copy the iSCSI license for my first node and then go back to System Manager and paste that in. And notice in here that I can add multiple licenses by comma separating them. So I've pasted in the first license. I'll enter a comma and a space and then go back to Notepad and get the iSCSI license for the second node and copy that. I could also copy all my other licenses while I was here as well, but I'm just going to license iSCSI for now while I'm doing this demo. I'll go back to System Manager, paste in the license for the second node, and then click on Add. And I can see that the node lock license for iSCSI is going to be licensed for both of my nodes now. And if I scroll down a little there, I can see I've got the green check mark for iSCSI. I could also delete licenses from here if I wanted to. So I could select one and then I could click on delete here. Also notice that if you click on one of your licenses in the bottom part of the window, it will update with further information about that. So you can see your nodes, the serial number on there and whether the feature is licensed or not. You can also see whether it's been used in the previous week. Obviously, iSCSI hasn't because I've only just licensed it, so I'm not seeing anything for uses in the last week. We can also click on the Details tab here as well, and on there it will list everything that I've got licensed on my cluster and expiration date, etc. Thanks for watching. If you want to get hands on practice with NetApp Storage for free on your laptop, then you can download my free ebook, which you can see above my head right now. Also check out my NetApp Storage Complete course, which will teach you everything you could possibly want to know about ONTAP. Thanks.